Isn't that like, what it was? Like, boom. Like, check this out. Damn. <laughs> oh, you just came in. No shit. Yeah. So, okay. Woo! But, woo! <laughs> All right, let's get started. And yes, welcome to Nearing Nirvana. We act exactly the same on camera as we do backstage. <laughs> so if you were ever curious, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, just get I'm, a little glimpse of us like flashing books at each other, like, hey, look what we got this week. <laughs> so yeah, I'm, but, I'm the same guy 24-7. Yeah. So so I and I've met Joe in person. That is that is not a lie. So <laughs> <laughs> this is episode 77. Oh, multiple times. I bet Joe multiple times in person. Yep. Baltimore. Yeah. yeah. In Houston. I'll be in Corpus uh April 20th. So get the hell out of here. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah you told me April 20th. Wait. What am I doing? I gotta check my calendar. It's a Saturday. Corpus Christi for the Selena Memorial. <laughs> so we're playing. Yeah. I'm slapping the bass. Oh and, right. Uh, on. Uh, yeah. I was but, good friends with her brother for a long time, man. Right. Yeah. I used to have a really good friend in the music industry that um, used to work in Selena's studio, and he he was uh, taking all their tape tapes uh, recordings, like the one inch real tapes, and doing digital transfers of it, and doing like a little bit of mixing and mastering. So, w were you feeling Jennifer Lopez's uh, uh, portrayal? <laughs> I thought she did good. Let, let me tell you, at that time, bro. I love me some J-Lo, bro. <laughs> Let me tell you. <laughs> ma, ma. <laughs> that's the first time he screamed, ma, ma. <laughs> oh, my God, man. That, That's the origin. <laughs> that's the bro, origin. I, was, I was doing the cumbia in the damn theater, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, like, that's where the anything for Selena line came from. That's from Joe, actually. <laughs> <laughs> So. Anything for Salinas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put this bumper in my car. <laughs> in hey, my garage. Go up here. I'll tell you some stories, bro. Alrighty. But until then, we want to thank our sponsors over at Cover Price. So make sure you're using the code Nirvana14 for a 30-day unlimited membership for only 99 cents. And make sure you're checking out Bird City Comics. Sign up for their text line. You can use the code Durbana before checkout, and you get a 10% discount. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, we got a bunch of people already in chat. Thank you so much for jumping in. Spider Guy Merv, Paul Holloway. Hey, what's of up, course, Paul? GT Key with the first comment. Uh, we got Heroes Reborn. What's up? Uh, Volsi. I haven't seen that hey, name in a Volsi, while. What, where the hell Volsi, are you been, bro? Uh, uh, Ronnie's Ronnie. in the house. GT Key, Comic U Tank. What's going on? Ooh, we got all the old schools in here. Middle face, in the is, house. Igor, how's it going? Igor's and then Chad all, all of the hooligans. Oh, man. All the hooligans. Oh, Chad's <laughs> in the house. God damn it. Damn it. <laughs> I got to behave now. He's breaking rules. <laughs> Chad's a rule breaker. <laughs> <laughs> is he ready? Re ready to pounce. <laughs> He's got his other like device ready, like watching on our device. Yeah. You know? I hate it when Red Hood smiles. <laughs> Put away the <laughs> debit card chat. <laughs> James Kreider, he's saying he's like, hey, I'm what's just up, here James? so long to find. Oh, nice. <laughs> I gotta our... send you a couple of pics of some books I picked up, James. I think you'll like them. Yeah. So ooh, use the credit card. And he's a rebel with a cause. And books that he doesn't have yet. Yeah, but I'll send James the pics of the books. He goes, oh, man, have you seen the Virgin variant? Oh, <laughs> or he shouldn't send you like you do, like a fan of them or something like that. Yeah, I've got that one, but mine's autographed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I have the only nine eight on the census. <laughs> yeah, right. I got a ten one. <laughs> it will be long before the ten ones start coming yeah. out, Joe. Don't, Don't Joe. Don't oh Joe. man, I hope they do a Spinal Tap one. You know, <laughs> take it to eleven. 11. Like, is there a Spinal Tap book? I mean, I guess you could just send the all black cover and hope for eleven. I right? mean, <laughs> it, it, let's try and trick us, dude. Just go to uh, don't do it. You know, do do a nine three. You know what I mean? <laughs> do a nine seven. You know what I mean? It, it, at least make it look like we're we're working towards that. You know, it's I, like I, nine four to ten. <laughs> I mean, they, you did it. <laughs> they did try the nine fives for a while, so yeah, that was a marketing gimmick, right? Yeah, so maybe we'll do something else with Fan Expo and uh and uh what's the other company? Um, Read Pop or whatever or whatever they're called now. They're all hey uh. The, we're getting a lot of bad press with this whole nine nine X Men. I don't care. <laughs> Dude, CGC is going to eat themselves. I tell you, I'm, I'm promising you, they're going to end up eating themselves. It's going to be a mess. But uh -oh. anyways, <laughs> let, let, let's get on. Let's get on to the. I'm show. sorry, Chad. Damn it! I knew I. He got mad at me last night too. So. I don't really want to talk about this book now. I pre-ordered one, and they came back and said, "Oh, so sorry, sir. It was damaged." Um, oh. We can't honor your order. They can fuck off. But anyways. and then and then they sold it for ninety three bucks. So, so sorry. <laughs> instead of getting the one hundred and fifty, you know, um, did Captain it to Marvel yourself. Number, number six um, by Jeff Decal, uh, one in twenty five. Um, some are saying that this isn't his best work. Um, if it was his best work, it'd be going for crazy money. But I think it's actually exceptionally good work by him. Uh, the line work on this, if you zoom in, is is really quite good. Um, I actually really like this book a lot. I'm pissed off that my uh, pre-order um, ain't coming to me, but uh, I'll track one down eventually. Yeah. Um, this book, though, I expect to be hard to get because no store exclusives. Nobody's ordering Captain Marvel. Um, I think this one will be tough over time. Um, but a, a raw just sold for 93 uh, with like five bucks shipping, so 98 all in. It was a sale. The only other sale was like nine 104 with free shipping. So however you want to think about it, this book's going for about a hundred bucks. Uh and uh yeah, I um I am pissed off, but uh yeah, it's a good looking book. <laughs> I mean it's Carter, Carter really passed up on it for 10 bucks. I just want to let everybody know. <laughs> <laughs> right here. <laughs> is that true? Is that true or no? That's yeah. That's I, not... I, I told the story on uh, Hot Book Alert Live on Sunday. Oh, I I missed it. <laughs> yeah. So every time every time Ben talks about this fucking book, I take it personal, <laughs> whether whether he knows it or not. <laughs> dude, listen, dude. I'm in the same boat as you. I'm I'm bookless as well. So. You know, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, so so I know someone that found two in my area and I was like trying to like work a deal with him. And I was like, cause he told me how much he paid for them. And I was like, I was like, look, this pays for both of them. And it puts the money in your pocket. He's like, uh, I'm just going to razz it. I was like, kind of like, Ugh. yeah, man, I don't, yeah. I got to respect Egg. it. It is what it is, man. I'll, well. whatever, man, I'll find one one day. I'll find one one day. But, um, but I do like this book a lot. I think it's good looking. You see. Chad drinks every time you post a forgive me father to you. Uh, I, I think it's been quite a while since you posted that cover. All right, Chad, I'm going to drop about six. Man, he's, man Chad, Chad, Chad's busting out the receipts tonight, man. <laughs> <laughs> he's going through our Instagram histories. Oh, no, I don't hide anything because I don't care. <laughs> All right. Uh, Silky Whip number 10. I was at a con uh, on Sunday. And uh, really nice guy, Norgel. Um, you know, this is the only con he goes to. He's an eBay seller. His store is the Ink Archive on eBay. So check it out. He's got a lot of really cool books. And I'm sure if you mention the show, uh, he'd be nice enough to cut you a deal. Um, but uh, Norgel, if you're watching, <laughs> I, I apologize. But um, anyways, he he uh, he gave me this at the show. He's like, listen, I know you guys talk about planet uh comic number one homages and tributes and he's like i don't know what you th what do you think and uh so he gave me this book and um um you know two girls one bike i guess you could make the case 
Um, but uh, I actually looked in this book, and uh, just to be warned, it's it's for uh, definitely adults only. This one caught me by surprise. <laughs> is it the type of subject matter that would have sent me to the bathroom in eighth grade? Yeah, instantly, bro. I don't know. I, I actually, it's even weirder than that. But um, uh, anyways. Uh, um, what is 10 P Diddy to the bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> or at least to the Caribbean, right? <laughs> Uh, but yeah, this book is this you know this book is nowhere to be found. This series I think went twelve issues, but don't quote me on that. It didn't go long. It didn't go much long, much further than this. But um, but yeah, just an obscure book. And uh, shout out to my my boy Norgel. Uh, thanks again for this, brother. I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, oh, I, eighth grade then... was like the early '90s, so there wasn't much to go around <laughs> yeah well i mean they could get a lot away with a lot more in those commercials back then than they can now but i'm also gonna say this for josh you know uh from henceforth now we're supposed to recognize these as dragon ball homages yes yep out of hmm. respect so yeah <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yep i'm looking at these other silky whip um covers holy crap <laughs> dude this are is you... this is not for the fan of heart let's just put it that way this is uh are, are you going down the rabbit hole i <laughs> mean yeah i'm getting stuck in it but I'm, <laughs> I, 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 I gotta dig my way out <laughs> <laughs> all right so we'll move on to the next book so carter doesn't get too distracted all right so black cat number two from 20 from 2019 uh this is done by the dodsons uh, Terry and Rachel, if you look to the right of the black cat trade dress, they they wrote their names in the webs there. Yeah. Um, uh, kind of hard so... to see a little bit, but um, this takes me back to um, the black cat series that Kevin Smith wrote. Uh, mm -hmm. I guess that was early 2000s at that point, it was right at the late 90s, early 2000s time period. Um, that was when Kevin Smith was starting to go off the rails a little bit with his writing, to be perfectly honest. But, um, but I always liked the way, um, you know, Terry and Rachel did Black Cat. Uh, this one in 100 came out, um, you know, in that uh, J. Scott Campbell Black Cat um, series. And uh, I don't know, there's something about this book that I like. Only 32 <laughs> in the census, which struck me as really low. Um, 22 and 9.8 obviously an all-black cover, and 9.8 yeah. sold for 73 bucks uh, early this year. You, you remember when the Dodsons drew uh, Red One, four-part uh, miniseries? Do you remember? Red One. Was it Red One? I don't know if I remember that and, one. And so it, it, there's uh, – she has black hair, and it was a, it was a Russian spy, right? Um, type of character and kind of um, you thought that it was going to spin off into something and uh, and supposedly it was optioned and all of this but I think that was some of their best covers like can Aaron can you pull up one one of the covers on red one on red one okay yeah give me a second red uh, one I, comic. red one comic I, I got distracted by this comment from from <laughs> from Adam <laughs> So it says, Chad, I didn't see it. It's, it's okay. <laughs> so thank you, Adam, for the for Thank the you for the humor, Adam. Thank you. Yeah. Very... yeah. Then... <laughs> Damn blind Adam. <laughs> yeah. So that, that was uh, Chad's response. But that distracted me. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay. Hurry up, Red, Red One comic. Uh, I'm just going to pull up a Google search, and then you tell me which cover to click on. How about that? Okay. All right. Uh I mean, you'll see it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, oh yeah. yeah. I remember this. Yeah, I remember this series. Yes. Yeah. I would always look it up, and it was it was never worth anything. So I just went, right. Hey. But hey, click click on the uh, the the one all the way to the right on the top, right there. Yeah. Blow that up. Yeah, that's nice, man. There was wasn't there like a uh... A risk action one homage to this that kind of got a little hot for a while. Oh, there it is, right there. Yeah, 
Um, Mama. I love I love Terry Dodson. And, I, I've uh, done this before. I swear. <laughs> <laughs> no, but see, like that's when they're on their game when when they they draw this version, you know. So you could put you know blonde hair on her; it'd be Catwoman, or or uh, platinum hair or Catwoman. You know that. I'm that's... not sure. I mean, I'm not taking anything away from Rachel because I don't know, but I mean. It's really Terry doing most of this, or yeah. Like, I mean, but, at least you, know, you got to include that. the wife, or else you'd probably get a divorce, right? <laughs> I'm part of it too. <laughs> ah, <baby>. ah. <laughs> yeah, she helped me sharpen these pencils. <laughs> or is that Frida Kahlo situation where you know, like he was a famous artist for the longest time, and then you know, uh, Frida outdid her husband. Eventually. Yeah, Carla. Yeah, I mean, she definitely. I mean, they, their styles are. I mean, they're totally different styles. Don't get me wrong. Like she, I don't she, think they're that different. I mean, I think they're from the same schools. I mean, she obviously they they have different different approaches, but like you know. Yeah, I, it, they're probably from the same cloth. I, I feel like. Yeah, uh, but I guess he could. I guess it was his like political stuff that probably like held him back a little bit more than her because she was she was way more subtle with her her messages. Yeah. And then anyways, the yeah, yeah. That, that's just a book that, that, you know, Raw's probably, the people are asking, you know, probably 75, 80 bucks for the Raw's of that uh, Black Cat too. And, um, um, but yeah, I don't know. This just feels a little under the radar. I, yeah, it, it break I, I yeah, can't remember. Carter. Yeah, Carter, Carter do, you, do you have this one? No. I, I think I might have it. I might have it, and that's a big maybe. Like, if I did have it at one point in time, I might have put it on whatnot. But then at the same time, I do remember stashing away a lot of my Black Cat books. So I'll look to see if I have it or not to get a point on the board too. I mean, that's the one you know th hammer that has not dropped, right? Black Cat. The minute Black Cat comes out in uh, live action Spider Man, that that's you know you got to think what do they have to to play, what card you know. Black Cat if is she's not the in one the next thing. trilogy. It's the biggest yeah. fucking miss ever. Big, like, big mean, time, man. Biggest miss big ever. Time. Um, it seems ridiculous to me. He, but, he's all um, on his own. He ain't got no ho. Peter Parker ain't yeah, got no man. hoes yeah. no more. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, man. It gives him perfect cover to just you know he and Felicia get all you know, cozy. You know? Oh, <laughs> meow, meow. <laughs> um, I mean, she's an A-list Marvel character. I mean, her first appearance is still. I mean, we talked about this on the flip side back mm -hmm. in the day, but it's still a freaking steal. Like a nine-six, um, all black cover, um, goes for like six hundred bucks, seven hundred bucks, something like that. So yes, still true. even during pandemic, it was still like a four hundred, five hundred bucks. That one yeah. too in the nine six, because I remember looking at one in the store. I was like, kind of like, hmm. <laughs> and at the time, I think it was a little bit higher than like what market was. They were like probably priced to now. So, but, yeah. All right, let's keep the show going so we don't bore people. All right, Carter, this one's <laughs> all you, man. Okay, so this is uh, Avengers versus X Men number eight. So this is um, a, the sketch variant. Um, and this is truly, I like this. I'm a sucker for raw pencils like this. Um, whenever I had, I never noticed this cover before until this week. But uh, when I did see it, I was like, oh, wow, this is, this thing is really striking. That's and, crazy. Yeah. A one in 200 for a number eight. That's nuts. I don't even know. I mean, what these books are all heavily ordered, though. I mean, these oh, are yeah. all like, amongst well, the, the highest ordered books of the year, like every month. But um, but even so. Um, well, even with that many copies out there, I feel like I never see these like super high incentive ratios for this run. I, yeah, because mm -hmm. I usually see a ton of like AVX um, variants, but never anything like this, though. 
yeah, it's always like the like the one in twenty fives, right, or whatever it is with the yeah. one character is a pencil sketched and the other one's full fully colored. Right. I mean, I I don't remember what the ratio are for those. I think it's a one in twenty five, but I can't remember. There's well, something. I think the Opinia color version is a one in one hundred for this wow. one, um, and then this is the one in two hundred. But it's unbelievable how much of the detail gets lost when they put the color in. Mm -hmm. Right. No. It's really shocking. This um, looks like it looks like you can touch these characters. Hmm. And then like when the inks come in, it's like everything kind of looks flat. Yeah, 100%. I couldn't agree more. Oh, where it gets I, mean, down. I mean, you would have thought after Endgame that Avengers versus X-Men was quite possible. You know, at the rate they were going that they could pull this this type of thing off after they acquired like 20th Century Fox and well, you know and, they fucked up the, the fact that okay. there hasn't been another another Avengers movie out since Endgame at this point. Mm -hmm. Like you, people who defend it, well, why hasn't there been another Avengers? Well, they just can't they can't get any groove going. So nope, and it's going to be a little while. Ooh. Adam has this one. Nice. Oh, wow. Good. Congrats. I All think right. that's the first point on the board tonight. Vance would be like, oh, four for four. You know, no, no big deal. <laughs> All right. This is Monster Massacre number two. This is a hardcover trade. I really had, I originally had it as a hardcover trade paperback. I'm like, wait a minute. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> um, but uh, uh, this is the first Derek Chu cover. Really? Um, so uh, I'm a hmm. big Derek Chu fan, um, but um, yeah, um, these don't go for a whole hell of a lot. Um, but um, I don't know. I think it's pretty cool, and uh, just wanted to throw it out there. That is cool. Oh man, if you change it up just slightly, a little bit more, it could be, almost be the uh, Rita from like Power Rangers. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought that was at first. <laughs> Okay, I'm glad I'm not the only one that just saw that. So. <laughs> this is a prequel. Yeah. How she became the, the queen she is, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I've been liking Chu's work a lot over the last year or so. Um, and I don't have this, but I'm going to track one down, I think. Nice. Let us know what size it is. Once you do Yeah, by, by the pick, but by, by the, the, you know, I resize so many of these books on here, um, and I just know the margins. And this is presenting like a like a magazine size um, mm. type book. All right, Uncanny X Force number eleven by the legendary Mark Brooks, uh, a one in twenty five, and an eight sold, uh, you know, over a year ago for 300 bucks um which is obviously very respectable only 25 of these on the census 19 and 9.8 um but a book you don't always see i i found mcclay's kryptonite man you talk any shit about mark brooks bro it's on you know it's like <laughs> what are you talking about i go i really don't like that brooks cover he's like, what <laughs> no, I, i'm just playing brian <laughs> i mean this is early brooks earlier i mean this is not this doesn't have the vibe that he's known for more recently um but um but this is a good book to have yeah if you don't have it's one. a good cover man i well, might actually. have this i might yeah. if you go it's know. a wraparound so aaron if you don't mind going to the next slide it this that that's the full cover right there oh that's awesome yeah it is this the run where like crane was doing covers too is that the mm -hmm. sex forcer Okay, yeah, obviously with Deadpool in it. Yeah, the kid apocalypse. All right, got it. I know where we are now. All right. All right. So, this, um, if you like Jeff to call like I do, this is a tougher one of his books to find. I finally just found one of these things. Um, now, it's a, it's a mile high exclusive, and you know my feelings about mile high. Now, they've had them. A couple on their website. Now I'm banned from Mile High, so I could never buy them. 
from Mile High. So I finally found one not being sold by those bastards. Um, but um, yeah, this is an early to call 2014 because his first work, I'm pretty sure, is 2013. So um, very early. Uh, not his best stuff by any means, but I'm, you know, like I said, I like his stuff. And uh, this is relatively difficult to find. Hmm. A lot of people, you know, it's never really labeled as him hmm. when people post these books. So you got to go looking around for it. But, um, but yeah, just uh, a book um, that we've never talked about by one of my favorite artists. And uh, put out by one of my least favorite comic stores. <laughs> <laughs> right. So... so to be completely honest, I didn't even notice the beaver at all on this cover. <laughs> I mean, because it's it's way more prominent in like a lot of the other covers. But if they were going to put that stupid logo, it should be underneath the forty uh, first century and above the it should be on the page. back. Yeah, I mean, like yeah, if the fact gonna, it's on the cover is ridiculous. Yeah, if it's going to be on the front though, I'm just saying it should be in that that blank white spot. And yeah, not, that blank uh, white space. Yeah, yeah. To, not to on me, I don't get it. Like if it. it you're 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 a, a true lcs like you gotta know like just put it on the back people don't like they already know they're getting it from your fucking store why you i mean <laughs> it, it, it i mean this kind of over the top uh just ridiculous and like it, it's like it's, anybody what is the beaver is the beaver in the story like what the hell you know <laughs> i read the book man there's no beaver in it man there's no beaver <laughs> oh, to be man. seen I, I was it was so people were asking how did i get banned from mile high oh um, yeah <laughs> i put in an order um a couple so i bought them a couple times and i put in an order of a bunch of books um that went crazy in price um, you know, I had placed the order, then they went nuts, and then they 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 canceled it, saying, "Listen, you're buying books that are exploding, and they just disallowed me from buying books from them anymore." <laughs> so, um, oh, that's like playing cards in Vegas, and you win, and they go, "Oh, you got to leave." Oh, well, yeah. because I'm winning. Yes. <laughs> What's up, Swaggle House? Swaggle House is in the house. Yeah. What's up, bro? So we're to get him on the show sometime. Not that he ever want to be on our show with a bunch of, uh, you know, um, low lifes like us, but uh, <laughs> we should we should invite him on sometime. I, yeah, I mean, he, you know, he's getting his ex Kickstarter started it. So uh, yeah, it already got funded, right? Yeah, within yeah, two Kennedy days. Number issue number two, man. He's he's so, killing it. Yeah, so congrats on that. So shout out to the content creators that are comic book writers too. So. Oh yeah, know. that's right. I, I I told Swag you got to sound more sinister when you're like uh, detailing the book on what's in it and all that, right? And, oh and dang, he's Aaron down. Goes, he's he he's too nice to be sinister. <laughs> <laughs> I want to yell about nine nines with you. <laughs> no, I'm with you, bro. I'm with you, man. <laughs> yeah. So um yeah we'll we'll set it up i'll message you on instagram and then we'll figure out uh what thursday is good for you or if you're free right now and want to jump on now i will send you a link just let me know in the chat so all right uh, I, I figured we might, might as well try halfway through anyways <laughs> all right so speaking of mile high books um this next one i don't think we ever talked about this one but here you go if you want the prominent beaver here is the prominent beaver uh, Savage Wolverine number one um, from Mile High. Uh, an expensive Campbell. Uh, 169 and 9.8 uh, back in 2023. Only 129 in the census, which is not a lot. And uh, 103 and 9.8. Uh, I mean, but this is, uh, honestly, you know, it's a well done book, but that stupid logo yeah. just kills it. Yeah, that just. That's one of the books that, like, I don't have it because of that fucking beaver. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, it makes the book look cheap. Yeah. yeah. But then, if you think about it, it's like Wolverine. Hey, nice beaver. <laughs> like, naked, <laughs> like Naked Gun. Now I, I might want to buy it now because I just thought of that. I hey, mean, nice they should make her. 
they should have fun with it, right? Like, if they're gonna put it on the front cover, like, make it like a talking like bubble or something like that, or like a thought bubble. Like, I don't know. Like, <laughs> right? Put them in the bubble. You know, there's really not 200 copies of this, right? <laughs> <laughs> Or just have the beaver with like a little thought bubble coming out of Wolverine's head. <laughs> I mean, you know, we should satisfy all parties, you know. Just put it over the barcode, you know, and walk away. Yeah. We'll, we'll all be happy, you know. It gets rid of the barcode. Your hey, Chuck, this won't scan. The beaver's over the UPC again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, There's been a number of books um, from Mile High that... Um, that are really well done, but they just throw this gigantic, stupid logo on there. It kills them. There was what? that show, uh, Spider-Man, that we talked about uh, probably a month ago or so. Um, but yeah, uh, great book. Um, killed by their their super stu stupid what, story. Logo. What makes no sense? Who put that, Aaron? He said that makes no sense coming from you. Yeah, I'm, I'm not exactly sure. Uh, what is Tom that, Comic thinks. Tom? What you want, Comic Tom? What's going on? Uh, Comic Tom trolling me, bro. <laughs> what if it was him and it and it just says Tom, right? <laughs> I'll scratch. Or, I'll scratch his it, eyes out, bro. Or is it Tom from MySpace? I mean, he's just your friend, right? Yeah. Okay. Man, Tom's everywhere, bro. <laughs> oh, right. I picked this one up last year. I'm the only one that don't have it then. Uh, I'm, I'm right there with hey, you. Hey, dude, I got no, I got no a couple of these. I'll send you one, Mercy. Not. <laughs> oh. I picked up I picked up two of them at the Corpus Con, dude. <laughs> Cars uh, about to be like, uh, yeah. There's a reason why I don't like it. No, <laughs> I don't have it. I don't like it. <laughs> so, um, Storm Quest number one from this is from um '94. Uh, so this is Greg Land's first. Our mm -hmm. first uh, comic work. Not too much I wanted to say about it, but I just thought, oh, yeah, that's pretty uh, That's pretty interesting there. Yeah, I'll dig it. My, I'll send you one, bro. Mm, cool. I, I was shocked there was only three on the census. I mean, Land's got a decent enough following, right? I mean, for only three of these, that, that was shocking to me. But uh, I found this digging. I, I told Carter probably a month ago uh, in a dollar bin. I'm like, damn it, I'll take this. Yeah. Um, I didn't even. I wasn't even sure. I'm like, I, I knew it was. I could see that it was land. I mean, his signature's pretty clear, um, but it had to have been early, and I kind of got lucky with it. But uh, um, yeah, this is this is cool. So uh, his art looks like '90s uh, Brandon Peterson, whose <laughs> art looks like uh, a ripoff of Rob Liefeld at the time. Was he tracing as much then as he was? <laughs> I know, right? So, his, so Greg Land's default style is uh, uh, Brandon Peterson when he's not uh, tracing <laughs> from magazines <laughs> directly he's, from magazines. He's doing a bunch of interior work lately, so I can't give him too much shit. But yeah, he. Uh, like so many artists, has got busted uh, taking the easy way out. Apparently, so mm. I was so naive at the time. I'm like, oh, his art is just—he's just, he's just so doing it freehand. <laughs> I didn't know any better. Yeah, yeah I know, you, but you, you look better. behind the curtain, you know. Yeah. No. It All happens right. to it always happens to at least one artist that you like a lot, right? Yeah, uh, without question, without question. All right, this is a Red Fox trade paperback. This is a wow. Brian Ballin cover. Hmm. Um, this is pretty badass. Um, if you like this, just be aware there's uh, a second print with a completely different trade dress. It's very simplistic in nature. Um, so just be aware if, if you prefer for first prints. But um, yeah, we love Ballin on this show. And uh, this is kind of an obscure one. Dang it, Ben. It's like, make, hey, make mom, me wait, money. don't tell me you're going to the club like that again, mom. Nah. <laughs> you wore that last week. <laughs> Come on, mom. <laughs> Red Fox is a comedian. I'm sure the interiors are covering, you know. You know um, what? I think Red Fox has like 
is spelled well, it has an extra D and an extra X in his name. Oh, does he? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know what? This cover it, it's like it's simple, but you can tell. But if you really look close, you can tell the details. Yeah. That he's mm. that Boland is known for. Yeah. Yeah, it feels early for him. I don't have like where it falls under sort of the the scope of his career, but um, but I like it. Um, I like it. It's cool. I think the colors make it look simple. Like the font, you... the cheap ass font. Oh Def my Le god! Yeah, the yeah. Def Leppard kind of font or whatever. You know. Just, oh yeah. It it cheapens the book. Like if there's not that red fox on there, or it's a different kind of trade or whatever. Yeah. But exactly. that just yep. makes it look ghetto, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, they changed it completely. It's nothing like that for the second print. So they probably got some feedback. Mm. I'm gonna see if I can find it real quick. The second print? Yeah. Yeah. If you search, if you just search Red Fox Fallen, it'll come up. It, it's Oh, I'm trying to think. Who does she look like? I can't really. She's got a lot of hair, bro. Mm -hmm. uh, dang it! Uh, give me a second to find that picture. Late eighties, early nineties. This looks very. What year was this, Ben? Oh man, this was eighty-eight. I want to say late eighties. Yeah, hold on. Um... Oh, here I... they have it on Amazon. Dang it. Everyone's gonna buy it up before I get a chance. Yeah. All right. <laughs> oh, see, oh, that's it's better. Only, it's only a fine, and then the second print. Let's see if it says. What yeah, see, that's the trade dress on the side. Da, da, da. Does it say what year it came out? Uh, da, 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 da. I can tell you. Hold on. Give me one second. I'm surprised it doesn't say on here. Let's see. Oh, uh, 86? Yeah, it sounds yeah. right. I was sounds close. Right. It's right around his like Judge Dread time, Judge Dread years and stuff like that. Right? The, what he did with Alan Moore? Mm hmm Okay, so the individual mm -hmm. issues of uh, Red Fox, this shit is looking hella janky. It is. It's all over the place. The original issues of that yeah. series. Um, yeah. He didn't do anything on the original run. I don't think. I think he only got involved in the trade paperback. Yep. What's up, Rudy? All Ooh. right. This is from uh, our friend Tony. E-man Tony Smokes on Instagram. Tony, thanks, Brand. So this is a Dorian Clevenger cover, uh, appropriately named, I suppose. Clevenger. Uh, uh, um, uh, hey, nice Clevengers. <laughs> <laughs> Countess Valdemira, number one. Uh, he, he he. There's three uh, issues in this run. He he threw all all three out. We just didn't have room on the show tonight to show them all. Uh, there's a cool Jusco, 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 however you want to say it for issue number three. Um, but um, but yeah, um, uh, this is from our man Tony. It's not to be big. confused with Tony Fix, aka Blue Green Artifacts. Blue Green. Oh man, we know so many bins, so many Tonys, like only so I'm many names to her. Yeah, I'm surprised there's not more Joes that do podcasts. But I mean, there can only be. Listen, really there's a one famous one, Joe Rogan. He's a pretty famous guy, you know. Yeah. Not as famous as Red Hood, but yeah. yeah. Thanks, Ben. Exactly. <laughs> they, I thought there was only one Joe in Texas. So. <laughs> thanks, only, guys. There can only be one. <laughs> thanks, guys. Jim, all right, well, let's keep the show rolling. Uh, Carter, this is all you, brother. Okay. Oh wow! Look at that. So Transformers 12, uh, um, uh, New York Comic Con exclusive from 2010. Of course, it's a, a Uncanny X-Men number one. 
um, cover swipe with a uh, with a lot of Autobot. So side swipe, prowl, swoop. Uh, you got the Insecticon. It looks like bombshell, and then like the other two, the other two uh, Autobots. I'm not quite sure of who's playing Magneto in this. Uh, the uh, the Insecticon. Oh, it's the Insecticon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, dang. I want to start asking Transformer questions to Carter now. I had no <laughs> <Well>, idea. <laughs> oh, I love me some Transformers now. Dude, that, nice. that cover is really good, man. It's awesome, man. Yeah. It's awesome. And this, this, this is this is hard to find. I mean, a lot of like a lot of, you know, my comic shop, a lot, there's no record of this book. So, mm. but, damn. But the census has so at least two out of two nine eight but, yeah and but three is three I mean, that's good. next to nothing especially um, for a new york city comic con oh it's idw exclusive yeah. makes sense now well i don't know oh 2010 new york city comic con exclusive dang too yeah so that makes it even like even more tough more, to find yeah or it's scarce. A long time. Yep. 2010's a long time ago, man. Man, that's a like a freaking coming lifetime. up on a decade and a half. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting old, dude. Man. We're all getting old, man. It happens though, right? Mm -hmm. How old are you, Joe? 35? Uh, yeah, 36. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Joe and I went to college together well, for a while, so yeah, man. Yeah, those parties, bro. They were they were something. They were epic, <laughs> but epic. Like he still owes me a limo. This was this was also you, right, man? Yeah. Um. Uh. Sweet meats. Is this is this mama worthy or no? I don't. Uh, oh man, you George, know she you got. Yeah, Come I'm digging on, man. it, man. That's the way the girls wore the shorts in the '90s, bro. Yeah, yeah, that is very much it. It looks like, um, God, what's that? Who's that? Who is that? Um, the married with children. It kind of looks like her. I was, oh, uh, uh, shoot, who was the chick? She got really fat now, but uh, oh, Bridget, I know who you're talking about, uh, Bridget Bridget Fonda. Uh, Yes, yes, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it looks just bro, like her. when they showed her. I was like, damn, what bro, happened, dude? Bro, she got she, I think she married, I think Danny Elfman. Yeah, dude, I guess he stuffed her full of Twinkies, dude. Eat it, yeah, eat it. <laughs> I, I want you big, girl, yeah, <laughs> dang. But uh, <laughs> sweet meats from 1990. Three, um, not too much I wanted to say about it, but I just thought it was a well, like simple cover, but well rendered. And I, and this looks doesn't even look like a '90s book, does it? No, the, short, really, the shorts man. dated. Dude. Yeah, I remember chicks used to wear that with uh, like mm -hmm. uh, black, uh, what do you call it, uh, leggings or whatever. Yeah, stockings or. Yep. Whatever. Yep. Yep. Yeah, and like them big clunky shoes and shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And then for people, boom. Right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, bro. That, dude, that's somebody's mom now, dude. You know? <laughs> right. Hey, your mom wasn't in Godfather 3. <laughs> 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 Mrs. Fonda, is this you? <laughs> What's up, Big Remo? Oh, uh, she Big came Remo's out in. in What's uh, up, brother? Good to what see was you, that man. one with Samuel Jackson, dude? Oh, 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 uh, Jackie oh. Brown. Yeah, Jackie, Jackie Brown. 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 Jackie Brown. Brown. Yeah. Man, she that was peak right there, boy. Mm -hmm. mm. He's my little surfer girl. <laughs> I said, but bro, I saw that in the theater. I did too, man. I gotta watch man. that again. I have, I have not seen that since. I the saw it on Christmas. Again. You remember it came out on Christmas? Yeah. yeah. Uh huh. Yep. I, I think I was too young to watch it in theaters when it came out. But I how did see you, it. How old 30, are you? I'm 38. 38, man. You're 38, Aaron? Yeah. 
Damn. I can't believe you're older than Joe. That's unbelievable. That's I know, nuts. right? It's it's because I don't age. Like you know, <laughs> if you want to know my real age, you have to ask Mel. So, <laughs> all right, all right, let's get this going. All right, so uh, Hot Rod Lincoln Blue Cafe. This is not a comic book, but it wow. is by the legendary Dave Stevens. It's a CD cover. Hmm. If you don't know Hot Rod Lincoln, and I'm pretty sure I've seen them a couple times um, back in the day, but they're like a rockabilly style band. And uh, uh, they, uh, yeah, one of their covers for their albums, uh, Carter, and I, Carter and I were talking about this uh, earlier in the week, but uh, yeah, by the legendary Dave Stevens. Uh, so this one, like I was trying to find... Uh, uh, like sealed copies. I'm I'm not seeing anything. I'm not seeing I mean, loose. I'm not seeing see. I'm not seeing the damn thing. It's a real indie label. I'm actually mm -hmm. pretty sure I have this this album somewhere. Um, wow. It was just the kind of music I was listening to back in you know in that in the nineties. Um, but um, but actually he they did two covers from Dave Stevens. If you go to the next one, Aaron. Um, this is another holy CD shit. Girl. Oh, damn it. Damn. Astronaut. Damn. Wow. Astronaut girl. All right. Um, well, while y'all are looking on eBay, I'm looking somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> even, even, the, oh, even the people on the show break the rules. I mean, God damn it. What kind of world are we living in, man? I'll take the, I'll take a take. It, isn't that going. amazing, bro? That he drew like that without Photoshop or all this, you know, computer. I mean, this is pencil, paper. Get it done, you know. That's it, man. Damn it! This is, this is a bad man. Wow. I mean, you know who else draws breaking. like that still? Adam, Adam Hughes, Dick Call, Adam Hughes. I mean, there's a lot of these guys who are still kind of cranking it out mm -hmm. that way. So, hey, do Jim, you have Jim Lee. Do you have to call original? Not, not at this exquisite, but man, Jim Lee's like starting to draw like a like a madman now. Do I have to call original? Is that what you're asking, Carter? Yeah, yeah, I've got that black cat sketch that he did for me, but uh, nothing that like I bought like that he sketched for somebody else. Not like but, a cover or anything like that. Oh, look yeah. at you pulling out some fire right there. He oh, offered me. I, I fucking kicking myself. He uh, he he reached out. Um, he did that. Catwoman cover mm -hmm. where uh, she's under the umbrella. Yeah. Like in the swimsuit. Yeah. He's like, you, he's like, you want to buy this? <sighs> and it was, and I was like, man, let me, let me think about it. Cause he was asking big bucks and then someone swiped it. Before, oh, damn. Okay. Before oh, I could get to it, man. That, that's, that's my to call piece. That's in that would that's in his sketchbook too. So that's a, yeah, that's what everyone keeps on telling me. And I was like, kind of like, I was like, oh, I should have probably bought one. And I think I missed my opportunity. I'm like, kind of like, ah, oh, but it's all right. Uh, that'd be I funny. Mean, I, I, I have the original, so I'm not, I'm not mad. <laughs> that, that'd be funny. Go to an artist and he goes, uh, what do you want me to draw for you? I want you to draw this cover that you did, but do it better. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, it's not like he used that for a cover. It was just a commission he did at yeah. one of the cons for me. So, yeah, that is super but, cool. Like, that was the that was when I went to MegaCon. It was my first time opportunity to meet him, and I was like, I was like, because I was following his Instagram, and I was like, I was like, okay, I know I have to be like the first person at his table to like to get one of the spots for the commission, and then I got in early to the con. And then he wasn't in there yet. And so I kept on circling around his table, like, you know, like every hour or every half hour on the hour, as soon as like general, uh, general public got in, I was like, kind of like, I got to beat the mad rush. And then there actually wasn't that bad of a rush. And it was kind of cool. And then I was like, I was like, Hey man, thank you for answering questions for, for me on Instagram. He's like, yeah, I usually like to scroll through and make sure like it's actually a fan and not someone just is like, Hi, and then <laughs> you know, a creeper. Yeah. So, are you are you looking at the private chat? I was about to. Is that is that the site that you went on? No, it wasn't. Uh, I, I I actually didn't find it. I don't because uh, I'm just all I'm seeing is just a stock image, so I don't know. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, 
Did they make uh, vinyl? But that in vinyl, Ben? I was looking for that. In I, don't, vinyl. I, don't, I don't know, but like that, what probably not. I mean, during that time period, vinyl wasn't really yeah. hadn't really kicked in yet. But if they do produce it in vinyl, expect it to sell out. So uh, I don't see it for vinyl. All right. Anyways, yeah, That's but that 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 was not the website I went to. Okay. All I'll, right. I'll type it in the private chat though. All right. Here's a book we haven't talked about since the flip side days, but a uh, uh, beautiful Art Adams cover, America number two, uh, one in 25 variant. Uh, this book almost went for a grand hmm. back in the crazy days. Uh, it sold for, a, I think, a pretty good deal for 200 uh, late last year, only 125 in the census, 109.8. Um, but yeah, uh, America Chavez in short shorts done by the legendary Art Adams. It's done perfect. Yeah, I think it's really well done. And I think, you know, I think the actress they have in the yeah. MCU playing her uh, is pretty damn good. And I think, mm -hmm. um, you know, as long as they don't fuck it up, um, you know, they could, they could, you know, she could do well uh, in the MCU. Mm hmm. Oh, I just realized this was issue two, the uh, the Beyonce cover, right? Or is that oh, a different? Oh, yeah, 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 yes, yes, with, with 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 the top hat that she. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So there's a the, the the second print of the cover A with the gold trade dress is also a very tough book. At at one point in time, I almost had two nine eights at the same time. <laughs> of that, of that, that um, second print, dude. There's only that second print probably only has like. 12 copies on the census still wow that's yeah. crazy yeah so i had one that i found on ebay before it w went big like i bought it for like 100 bucks or less and then i sold it for a decent amount of money uh i don't remember how much but i want to say it was like three to five hundred bucks i want to wow. say and then I almost won Dino's copy too. Like Dino had a copy as well. And then he was clearing out a bunch of stuff on eBay. And then I was watching the auction and I forgot to bid or I was on the show because I was <laughs> doing like, I was on flip side, like pretty much every night of the week and I was on the show and I forgot to put in my bid before mm. the show started. Hey, real quick. Uh, we're going to go back for, for Adam on the hot rod Lincoln. So um, there's two uh two two covers uh um adam there's hot rod lincoln uh the blue cafe album that's dave stevens and then hot rod lincoln uh astronaut girl are the two different uh covers that he did uh for for those albums so hope that helps buddy oh actually carter i'm gonna hmm. put one in the private chats Yeah. yeah so uh because i think they had a copy for sale can you imagine oh, if they, that yeah, yeah. was on a comic right now bro <laughs> uh, Dude, if you go to the it'd right be, shop it'd be now. a it'd be a hundred dollar book quick and that one too oh yeah both of those but you know art adam's stuff like his his stuff is starting to like like smolder I hit new levels, yeah, um, um, for sure, for sure. All right, hey, Jason, for one. you, Amazing Spider-Man number eighteen by the legendary J. Scott Campbell. Love this cover. This is a uh, the Comics Auto variant. That's a comic store in Mexico. Mm -hmm. um, and nine eight sold recently for seven hundred bucks for this book. Oh, dang, that's nuts. Yeah, I better people, get mine graded, dude. <laughs> I want to be clear about one thing. I take a lot of shit for this. Uh, when I say, you know, don't sleep on store exclusives. My, my point is this. Don't buy them all. It's, they're like any other comic book. Most of them won't be worth a goddamn thing. But if some of them hit, they're going to go crazy in price. Because even if there's a thousand of them, that's really not that many for a hot book. So, um, you know, this stuff's going to um, this stuff's going to settle over time. And there's going to be some big, big hits. My point is not to buy them all, but just like don't ignore them because there's going to be just gigantic winners 
um, in that space. Um, so uh, that's my only point. But I, uh, I have this covered. The only reason I haven't gotten it graded because I know it's not going to be a nine eight because there's a little bit of white on the top little corner of it. But I, you know, listen, man. If it's not a nine eight, it could be a nine nine. So don't sell yourself. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. Since they're but, changing the rules, you know. So you might as well wait for the pre-screen nine nines, right? Yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. I'm interested to see how they're going to authenticate with the JSA and put all that bullshit on the label. You know, we'll see how that goes. The interesting thing about this book is that most of them are signature series. Mm -hmm. mm. So the one that sold for seven hundred bucks was that a signature series? I or... believe that was actually just a um, a blue label. Okay. But yeah, um, it's yeah, beautiful, <laughs> beautiful black cat cover. You got Deadpool on there too. Silk. Yeah, you got everybody. Spider Woman, Spider Man. I mean, get a little bit of something for everyone on this one. Let's see. I only have three sign, two nod. All right. All right. X Men mm -hmm. 92, number three. This is also an old school flip side book. Uh, Sana Takata cover B. So this is not a ratio, uh, but it's not an easy book to find. Uh, a nine eight sold for seventy bucks, which feels like a steal for this book. Uh, only thirty eight on the census, twenty three nine point eight, and uh, a real weird vibe between uh, Gambit and uh, <laughs> and uh, Jubilee here. But he's uh, he's popping her bubble. <laughs> <laughs> mm hmm. <laughs> there is something very wrong about this. Guy. I I I, pre I pressed the book for uh this guy. All he sent me was Gambit books, bro. And this dude, big Gambit fan, and one of the, one of the, I actually I think he had two of these. Yeah. Nice. I think I know who you're talking about. He he's a viewer of the yeah. show. Yeah. 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 I, I didn't want to say his name. And yeah. Get mad at me, and then he won't send me books to press. Yeah, well, listen, it's X Men ninety seven now, so everybody's five years older. So I mean, maybe like the dynamic has shifted a little bit. You know, five years is a long time. So almost now she's years. gonna pop his bowl. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I I uh, I definitely remember when we talked about this on Flipside, and I never had a copy, and I was like, I was like, oh, I definitely need to get one, and. I finally won one, but I can't remember who I won it from. It was either Big Leg, Phil, or Mel. It's like one of those three guys yeah. I bought it from. And then I, I was actually surprised at the price I got it at. But, yeah, I mean, this book used to go for quite a bit. Um, but, um, yeah. Nine eight, uh, yeah. Just with X-Men 92, uh, 97 being so hot, just threw it on here. Yeah, I'm surprised. Uh, like the X Men '92 books, even like especially the variants, are are they are they doing anything or no? No, not really. They're kind of they're kind of slept on a little bit. There's another one we're going to talk about on the show. I don't know if it's the next one or later on, but there's another '92 that I thought was actually pretty cool. Um, Ooh. All right. Before we get there, though, Full Metal Fiction number two. Uh, this was um, ninth through this one on here. If you're watching, bro, thank you. Um, yes, thank you. This is obviously a Marilyn Monroe <laughs> homage. Uh, this is a Sandoval cover A. And uh, yeah, just kind of a cool, a cool looking book. There's a mama. There's a there's a, a female wrestler uh, named Tony Storm, and her gimmick is like a like an old time. Uh, time actress and it i swear it looks just like her wow. really yeah that's a good gimmick that's a good gimmick too mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. oh that Especially, would kind of make yeah she I, looked like it <laughs> well i was gonna say like i guess that really makes sense coming from knife because i know he's a big wrestling fan as well so i i know if you ever talked about that with him no okay yeah yeah so time Timeless Tony Storm. That's the that's the gimmick. Mm. I hope she never loses. 
<laughs> no, she's the she's actually the the woman's champ. So okay, as it should be. <laughs> exactly. Keep it rolling. Keep it rolling, man. All right. That's let's funny. See. Somebody put get her to sign this. <laughs> All right. This this is what I saw. X Men ninety two number one. Um, Zhang Chin one fifteen. This book book also throws me back to the flip side days when we talked about. Mm -hmm. um, what was it? I've got one right here. Was it Marvel Zombies? Yeah, it was yeah. Marvel Zombies so, with, yeah. um, with the Elsa Bloodstone on it, right? Yeah. So um, you, what you can't make out on this cover is that's Jubilee. So, but if you go to the back cover uh, on the next slide, you get a oh, cool wow. hidden bubblegum cover with the jean shorts and the whole goddamn thing. So, um, yeah, See, 92, the jean shorts. Uh, <laughs> and there's uh, your yeah. boots, Carter. Oh, with the high waisted jean shorts. Is that what yeah. you're talking about? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because that had its moment in the sun already, right? Well, it came uh, back it's in funny. Fashion. our old friend Phil, um, Vintage Comics, was saying, you know, are, are the jean shorts going to come back because of X-Men 92? So um, <laughs> we, we, we will see. <laughs> but um, it's So it's know? pants spe speculation now. Is that what we're getting <laughs> into? Jean shorts? Uh, yes. Uh, listen, you can spec on anything. Some gerbos. <laughs> yeah. It's like... You know, take all, all the jeans you can find and make jorts yourself and, you know, flip them for double with less material. I don't know. Yeah, so this is a... <laughs> everybody knows I love bubblegum covers. This this one is kind of a hidden one because you can't see it from the front, only from the back. And uh, here you got Jubilee. Nice. The Maybe the most famous of all the bubblegum cover mm -hmm. characters. All right. And speaking oh. of bubblegum covers, uh, A Force number five by another artist I really, really like, Ben Caldwell. Um, just throw this on here because it's fun. Um, you can see uh, Nico down there in the left corner blowing a very subtle bubble. Um, but um, between ben, Cal ben Caldwell and bubblegum, I don't know. I just felt, felt I should throw it on. Oh, dang. Greg M, your cousin is in Hot Rod Lincoln. You got to ask him how <laughs> they got the Dave Stevens cover on their on their CDs. Greg, you're about to be, have a lot of friends here real soon, I think, buddy. So um, you got the yeah. inside track. Yeah, I mean that's cool. <laughs> I need to now. Okay, yeah. So let <laughs> us know, like, if you don't find out while we're live, like. Uh, um, get him on the phone leave, right now <laughs> well, well leave a comment after we're we're not live and then let us know the story and then we'll, we'll i'll i'll make sure the read comments I, i'm really bad at that i'm sorry but i'll review it before next next week last this this show sweet mm -hmm. oh, oh wow. that was the last book Oh, oh that timing. is the show. Yeah. Oh, All right. Uh, if you didn't catch it yesterday, I was on Movies and Shows with Jeff and Frodebird the Nerd. Uh, I think that's like the first ever all-Asian comic podcast, right? Is that a thing? <laughs> Come on, it can't be. It's got to at least be the second. I don't know. If you can find me another one, let me know. Wait a minute. <laughs> You're Asian? Sometimes. <laughs> so... <laughs> okay. uh, <laughs> so hopefully one day of, on a Friday, nearing Nirvana, nearing Nirvana will return. Let us know in the comments and on their shows too as well that you want to see that show back on Friday nights before the Hot 10. Uh, Saturday is the Saturday morning toy box. Monday is Cover Lovers. Tuesday is the uh, show that started all with comic book women. And then Wednesdays is uh, Movies and Shows. So, oh, Comic News Weekly. That's what it is. I completely forget or, do, or is it called a movie show? I don't know. They keep on changing the name. So let us know <laughs> what it's going to remain. As I'm sure it flips. But you should be subscribed to the channel already. Uh, hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss all the great content on this channel. Uh, thank you again to our sponsors over at Cover Price. So make sure you're using the code Nirvana14 for a 30-day unlimited membership for only 99 cents. And uh, make sure to check over at Bird City Comics. Uh, sign up for their text line so you don't miss all the great exclusives that they drop every single week. 
And if you use the code Nirvana, you'll get a 10% discount. And then what other shows do y'all have going on, gentlemen? Uh, we got Hot Book Alert on Sunday. Uh, me and Ben should uh, be uh, going over the, the market. And, uh, yeah, that show's been a lot of fun. We we just bullshit about uh, uh, interesting comic sales during the mm-hmm. week. Maybe not the hottest sales, maybe not right. the biggest sales. It's just you know, the ones that, that catch our eye. Yeah, exactly. You would think I was I would know the name of the show since I was on it yesterday. This <laughs> week in Geek. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, sorry. My last couple of days of work have been like 10-hour days, so I'm just like kind of like, Bleh. That's right it? 10 hours bro. yeah but it's not just like sitting behind a desk either like i'm climbing on roofs of buildings like multiple times <laughs> um uh, yeah and then like dealing with like like 20 different contractors every day basically it gets tiring and i hear you yeah and then let's see all right but tomorrow night joe and i will be on the hot 10 as long as i don't get a page for work so yeah. that's yeah. Oh man, it's almost Easter, guys. You know, damn. Oh, man. and Years I will. By. And I will be working. Hey, did you guys get your glasses for the solar eclipse, man? I'm getting mm. a welding mask instead. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's the significance of uh, this solar eclipse versus the one that we? Uh, just had not too long ago mm-hmm. a few months yeah ago. this, this one's got a, a lot of hype man i don't know why man this one's it's a hype. full eclipse this one this is a full eclipse okay. and so the other ones are like uh i don't remember the name like partial eclipses or something like that i don't remember the exact mm. scientific name bs eclipse. so with the with the earth being flat how does that <laughs> <laughs> How does that work? <laughs> it's because Earth is actually flat in a dome. Is what's happening. I heard it was like in a pyramid shape. See, right? I heard it's a, I heard the it's aliens like a, that put the pyramids. So I hear it's n- not really that at all. I heard it's like a half pipe or like a dome, <laughs> like a pool. Oh, uh, okay. So like the Earth that actually would make sense. Actually, yeah. we're all skaters. In. Yeah, it makes sense, yeah. man. That, make, that makes the most sense. <laughs> yeah. Because we got a hang ten, bra. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think I think we're set to go back right, stage now. Peace. Yeah, so y'all have a great night. We'll catch you next week. Uh, yep, yeah, later. <laughs>